Greetings friends. I saw a video on YouTube by a channel called Unacceptable Fringe. This video was from about a year ago. It was called Matthew Good is a monster and should be cancelled for what he said. Now for those of you outside of Canada, you've probably never heard of Matthew Good or Matthew Good Band. They didn't really become popular on the, you know, beyond Canada. But they were a very good and successful Canadian alt-rock band from the late 90s. Uh, it broke up around the year 2001 and then Matthew Good continued a solo career. And I'll give some more context on the artist. So this video is not just for people who know about uh, this artist. It's more widely commenting on the theme of can you or should you listen to an artist or, or music who has political views that you disagree with or even spiritual views that you disagree with. And I'm going to provide hopefully some context to help us understand this question. Of course, the short answer is you can listen to artists that the things you, they say you disagree with. You can, I think that's normal and healthy, but of course, in more nuance, if the whole thing that an artist is about, if everything and all the lyrics, especially lyrics, are, are important things to consider, if all of that is totally assaulting you and giving you the wrong uh, worldview, or at least for, for children, then that's an argument to say that don't listen to them. But in this context, we've got this channel, Unacceptable Fringe. I don't know about this channel. I just stumbled across it because I was looking up some Matthew Good music online. And he seems to be based out west in, I think he said he ran for the mayor of Calgary, if I'm not mistaken. So he was sympathizing with the freedom movement following the lockdowns and the, and the stabby mandates of 2020 and beyond. And I was a part of that protest movement in Toronto for more than a year and a half. So I was amongst the, I would have considered myself a part of the freedom community or movement. As time went by, I considered myself among them, but not of them because they, they're just mostly have the boomer liberal mentality. And they're not all literally baby boomers, but they have the more classical liberal or libertarian or even like, Academic agent made the good point that these people protesting lockdowns and stabby mandates, not all of them, of course, there were traditional conservatives, but they were always a minority, but, but most of them were like the counterculture movement from the 60s, like that kind of music, the like smoking weed and all that stuff. And that's really, so it's like you, like you're opposing the establishment by appealing to the counterculture, which was really created by the establishment to control young people and change the culture in the way the establishment wanted. So you're going to, so, it, so it's flawed from the beginning, but I digress. But I want to play a little bit of what this guy had to say on Acceptable Fringe. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to The Fringe. And today, well, you hate to see it, but another elite, as you could say, and another celebrity has jumped on the bandwagon of wanting to end your existence and thinking that he's being cute or funny. Of course, we're talking about Matthew Good, Canadian artist and singer who came out to say some really hurtful things the other day. And let's, uh, let's just jump into it because I, I honestly have nothing funny to say about it. It's uh, quite disturbing. Uh, Matthew Good tells BC crowd freedom protesters should be sent to the Congo and, um, pewpewed by teens with uh, assault rifles. Well, it is kind of funny because for one thing, <laughs> like freedom protesters are supposed to be about free speech. Now I'm not a supporter of free speech, absolutism or anything like that. I think it's, a, it's a not a coherent concept, free speech, but it's just ironic that they would all be for free speech and then do they not see the irony? Does this guy not see the irony of the title of his video? You want to cancel someone for what they said? <laughs> and you're part of the freedom movement? What? Like, that's hilarious. That in itself is funny. And it is funny that, like, as much as I, I find that detestable, that Matthew Good, well, it's not, I mean, you see, if you understand, like, Matthew Good was always a lefty, right? But he was a kind of like a real lefty. He wasn't like, he, he was before all the, the 2000s when 
you got the, the beginning of the social justice and the NPC kind of lefty that it is today, the multiracial left. He was kind of more old school lefty because he's, I guess, a Generation Xer. And for him, being a lefty would have still had some truths in it, I think. Like, there are real messed up things going on about capitalism, and, and he had good observations about the soulless nature of suburbia. And he, and he, he had very deep critiques of our culture that as a teenager, you take this stuff in and it influences you for life. I think in a good way. I would say in a good way because it starts to, you already see that there's something spiritually wrong with the world. And then you encounter this artist that expresses a lot of these things or like leads you and, and, and says, yeah, there is, he said about the suburbs, like someday this place is going to burn. Is your whole life in there waiting? Now, it's good to have a wife and family and kids in the suburbs. That, that's great. But there is something very materialistic about the way the suburbs were planned out. So I'm just trying to provide some context here. He was always bipolar. He had difficulty getting along with people. And, and the Matthew Good Band disintegrated in the early 2000s and much bad blood from what I understand. So he, he's a difficult person to work with, maybe mentally unstable. He's expressed at least one album about depression as the theme of that album. So this guy, I'm not trying to excuse what he said, but sometimes people who see true things, they can still get taken in by lies. And sadly, Satan can do that. You need to really be close and, and to, to Christ, hopefully, and hopefully in the church to, and even then sometimes people still get suckered in by this stuff, even in the church. But you need something spiritual to really guide you away from these lies. But it doesn't surprise me that Matthew Good could have been, like that would happen to a lot of celebrities, could be caught up in, in the narrative. And because he's always said things to piss people off, like he would, that was one of the things he would always be doing. So it wouldn't surprise me that he would come out later and, and say this thing to freedom protesters. And it is kind of funny, because like the freedom protesters, it's kind of like, <laughs> like even though I was amongst them and that would have offended me greatly at the time, and it, I guess I still don't like it, but that is kind of funny. What, oh, you don't think he's gonna piss you off too? He's gonna, he'll piss anyone off, I'm sure. So that's sad, and I, I, I wish that Matthew Good could at least realize that we're not demons for protesting stabby mandates and lockdowns. I think that's reasonable to assume, but you can l still listen to music that you know the artist is on the other side. It's not always going to work out, but let's be realistic. That's the way life is. You can't have everyone in your circle or, or all the culture you can assume coming from someone who is totally ideologically or spiritually consistent with your values. That's unreasonable. But it is, of course, something we seek out. We do seek to consume musical content from a culture that we feel at home with, Western culture, whatever that is, maybe certain music from different cultures, but there's other cultural music that's like, this. I don't have anything in common with this at all. Like the stuff that, some of the stuff they play on the radio, that's, let's just say it's not, not from a traditionally uh, European source. I can't stand this music, it's degenerate music. I'm not even, in the door in the first place. But if you're already in a genre of music and something about that music appeals to you, now you're saying you're not going to consume any content from some artist that you don't like the things they said. I mean, come on, that's a bit unreasonable to me. But I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say, oh, any, it doesn't matter what the lyrics are. It doesn't matter. Like, I'm just trying to say there's, there's a time to, to cut people out, but I don't think that's one of them. I think this is a poor excuse for freedom protesters to jump on Matt Good and, and say cancel him, even, uh, you know, apart from the fact that that's hypocritical of them, because they're supposed, they're supposedly believe in free speech if you're a freedom protester and then you want to cancel some. <laughs> Take the Arcade Fire, they're another Canadian alternative band. They made some really good music. I don't know much about their personal history. I did see them in concert once. It was pretty good. And again, they've touched on some of these same themes that Matthew Good has, including the suburbs. They had a whole album devoted to the suburbs because they were able to express something to Canadians in, in the early 2020s, like around 2012. They were able to express something to probably largely white 
Canadians, probably the, the last batch of the millennials before the millennials were becoming like in their mid-twenties to early thirties when they would have to grow up but they were able to express something at that time and probably some of their other albums they, they definitely hit on deep things now as far as I know they're these they must be lefties they look like lefties they look like art school people I can only imagine what their political views are I can only imagine and it's probably not going to be sympathetic to my views maybe I'm wrong but I have a feeling that they would politically be on the other side that they would culturally be on the other side however within the context of the culture I'm, it's maybe even antithetical to you opposed to you but it's also adjacent to you so you if you just cut everything out you become totally isolated and you can't always refuse to listen to good art because even messed up people can produce good art this has been going back in time centuries like Caravaggio he produced some amazing paintings in the Renaissance in Italy or was it the Renaissance or the Baroque period? But I think that's more or less the same thing. But he produced some amazing art. That Now, would you say, well, I can never go see a Caravaggio painting now because that was a, an evil man. He did, he did evil things. He wasn't so much evil. He was just like driven by his passions completely. So, which is a demonic influence, of course. But I can tell you right now, um, I, I haven't listened to Matthew Good in a long time, but I probably never will again. Uh, I have no place in this world for anyone who wants to make comments like that. Even if people were commenting about people who had the poke saying that, you know, they should go to K. You don't say those things. You don't wish death or hate on people. It's just ridiculous. Uh, I, for one, cannot stand behind it. Uh, and, and I think he's a disgusting garbage human. Uh, but let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Uh, do you agree with his take? If you do, please unsubscribe. <laughs> if you don't if you don't agree with his take please let me know in the comments down below what you think of this. yeah i disagree with matthew good's take but i also disagree with your take unacceptable fringe is stupid like <laughs> like you're remind like again so you were listening so, you, so you're telling me this is the kind of music you would like but then he said that so that whole kind of you can't, like, that's, you're not going to hear that kind of music anymore. You may be something similar, but every artist is unique. So, Matthew Good and his, the way he makes music, and the, well, that's, you're not going to be hearing that anymore. Because he said some things that are unacceptable. And yeah, what he said was not right. That's not cool. That's kind of messed up. But, given the context, and given... This is the freedom movement, which is for free speech. I think we, you should just uh, calm down a bit here. Hasta luego, amigos.